Hi guys, Karen here with another La Crusade video. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to our channel. And today, I'm trying to figure out where to look. Um, and today, and don't mind our dried peppermint over there. We're drying our herbs. Um, the season has begun. Um, so today, I am going to show you. Remember that skillet that um, the um, young people just totally tore up well the hubster got a hold of it and you know he was determined that he was going to fix it and he was going to try and restore it you know and you know at first i was kind of like mm, because i had tried to work on it myself but just got you know tired with it and would leave it but today i'm going to show you what he's done thus far so if you're new to our channel Please like um, um, the. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button, you know, and join the fam. Also, we're on our way to a thousand subscribers. So, if you would like to be a part of our uh, subscriber giveaway of a hundred dollars to LaCrusade.com, all you have to do is be subscribed. Um, yeah. So, first up, I'm going to introduce you to a series of photos. Um, that um, the hubster was keeping while he was working on the um, the skillet, the La Crusade skillet. I believe it's the signature skillet. And um, mind you, it has taken a couple of days. This is not an overnight process. So I think in total it's probably about four days. So let's begin. So in this first picture, you can see this is the beginning of what the skillet actually looks like. This is the before. And he and I have gone back and forth with trying to figure out what actually happened. You know, we know that uh, the first use of the skillet, one of our daughters used it, you know, without permission. And, <laughs> and then, you know, um, they just did not know how to use it. I believe that they were trying to use it just like it was a cast, a regular cast iron skillet, but it's just not. It's not the regular skillet where you have to oil it and what have you. So this is many years of, you know, just trying to figure this out. So this is picture one. So now we're on to picture two. So as you can see, I'm going to give you the formula. So uh, the Hubster and Maya, they're very much science people. Um, so he used a combination of baking soda and vinegar and hot, hot water. And his tool of choice was, um, you'll never guess, a plastic spoon. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a plastic spoon and patience lots and lots of patience and he just went to work with it and occasionally Maya would switch out with him and they just took their time diligently working on it piece by piece little bit by little bit and it and what he came to the conclusion that it might have been was oil because it, you know this was one of my first plans from years ago and I'm thinking that you probably have to oil it the same way that you do a cast iron skillet, which we all know is not the case. You know, so this, you know, what I would chalk this up to is a case of operator era. Um, so let's go to picture number three. So picture number three is very much the same as picture number two. It's just getting more into the nooks and crannies with the little plastic spoon. They're really um, making some headway at this point. Um, you can, you know, you can see where they're actually making it to the finish line. And uh, Maya was using that little spoon to get all into the name where um, look her say the name she's getting all of that cleaned up and around there as well so they're really they're very detail oriented and you have to be to clean this so this is what it looks like once it comes out of the water they were checking on it to see um they were checking on it to see how well it was working and they saw that it was working really well before they doused it again with some more hot water to go on to the next part of the process as you can see here, 
the whole back and handle are now free and clear of all of the black stuff. Um, you know, I think it's a lot, it was a lot, as I said in the last part, it was a lot of caked on oil and grease and yeah, it was a lot. And so I'm gonna show you the next picture. So this is the, I think this is number five, this picture. So as you can see, there's still parts along the edge that he's still cleaning up. And um, I told him to take his time because he's doing a, he, you know, I felt he was doing an amazing job, obviously. Um, he's way more patient than I am and detail oriented as well. I think I'm pretty detail oriented, but you really have to pay attention to details for this and not get and not find it as tedious as it could be. Um, and now I will take you and show you what it looks like in real time. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like in real time so far. Now, as you can tell, um, he really wanted me to wait, but he's been taking a while, but I was excited to show you guys um, the process. So um, anyway, obviously we've had it for years, so it's gonna have some dings and whatnot. And at this point, I don't even care because he's done an amazing job. You can see the ombre is back. Ta -da. And um, so you see right here, he has this left to go on this side as well. But, you know, obviously, if he was able to get all this, I trust that he's going to have that done too. Here, he's still working on areas right in here, around there. But because the pen looks as good as it does now, I'm just excited. Um... I think I might retire the pan <laughs> in terms of use, uh, you know, because boy, they really did a number on this one. But, you know, I wanted to share because never fear, you can restore your pans. Um, you can restore them. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of a whole lot of patience. Um, but you can get it back. And definitely he's still working on the inside of it. Uh, we're still working on the inside because of all the oils and things like that but this part doesn't concern me as long and he's taking his time because he doesn't want to scratch the the enamel which is fine by me um, but it was the back side that caused me the most concern as you can see he's done an incredible job and I am very grateful to him and Maya for their expertise and the time that they took um they could have been doing anything else but they decided that they wanted to do this for me and i really appreciate it um i didn't even ask them he was just i guess you know just kind of tired of looking at it but because <laughs> i always was sad when i saw it it's just like oh you know but anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you all have any la crusade or stove pans or cast iron pans in general that you're trying to restore um, let me know that in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!